acknowledge the truth. Do you remember what Sal Pim said? Can you help us at all with anything else he said about why he was going to see Pol Pot when Pol Pot was arresting East Zone Cadre? I do not know. I truly don't know. If I know, I, I will tell you that I know. But here, I truly don't know. Okay, thank you. So, Mr. Witness, do you know when Pol Pot went, excuse me, when Sao Pim went to see Pol Pot on that occasion? Did he bring two divisions with him, one division? Did he just bring a few bodyguards? Did he go there with lots of forces, or did he go there with just a few people? He did not, he did not bring any soldiers with him. He brought along with him only members of the defense unit. And can you remind us about how many members of the defense unit were there at that time? About 10 of them. Now, you were not with Pol Pot. Uh, excuse me. Let me try that again. You were not with Sao Pim, and you don't know what happened exactly on his trip to Phnom Penh. Is that correct? I do not know how to answer your question, and I, my memory also does not serve me well. Is it correct that Sao Pim, to your knowledge, at the time of these arrests, he didn't go into the forest, he didn't run to another country, he went to Phnom Penh to see Paul Pot and the leadership. Is that true? Yes, that is, that is correct. He went to meet the people in the leadership position in order to find out the truth. Okay, thank you. I want to ask <coughs> your reaction to something someone else said um, and see if you see any similarities with Sao Pim. This is the adopted son of Ru Nim taught Tuan. In E3 slash 10665 in Kamai at 011 and in English at 01156823. He was being interviewed by a person who had spent um, many years and many hours with Nunchia, a man named Tet Sambat, who did a film about Nunchia. And Tet Sambat's a person who said he became very close to Nunchia, like family. So Tet Sambat asked this person, the adopted son of Runim, he asked him the following question. An opinion blamed your father or Sao Pim or others for the massacre, saying that because they joined the plot to fight against Pol Pot, 
so it caused rifts in the internal movement. How do you think about that opinion? And taught to and answered, for my understanding, if he had the obvious idea to oppose Pol Pot, he would not have stayed until he was killed. Mr. Witness, what about Sal Pim? Do you think he could have, if he was plotting against the center when the arrest started, could he have escaped? I would even have problems following this question. Um, it's, it's incredibly long. Um, the witness doesn't know who Toad is. Um, there's all kinds of other sentences which are irrelevant for the question about Ted Sambat. Uh, but in addition to all of this, he's asking for speculation. Uh, what would Sopim have done? Uh, he cannot possibly answer this question. Well, Your Honor, <clears throat> I believe counsel has read from the same interview with the uh, 1069, and I believe he's read from the, uh, that witness today. The question, I, we can find out if the witness understands it, but actually I have a basis for believing he can because he's made a similar comment in his own statement to DC CAM last year. So may I ask the question, and if the witness does not understand, I'll try to simplify it. But I think he, he's probably forgotten it by now. I think the whole thing was a bit convoluted. That's the feeling I had too, but perhaps repeating the last question might help. Well, let me see if I can do it this way. Mr. Witness, do you recall in your interview with um, DC CAM, you said the following. Um, I have to find it, just one moment. Uh, I'm reading now from the witness's interview with DC Cam at 01355783 in English, 01348547. Four five in French, and in Kamai, it's at zero one three four zero five zero one. Sir, you said that he had gone. Sao Pim had gone to Phnom Penh. Long Dani asked you, he was not getting ready, preparing to escape, and you answered, he was unwilling to escape. But if he had wanted to evade, he would have been able to, but he was unwilling to escape. And then you repeat it. He said he had done nothing wrong. So, Mr. Witness, is that, can you explain to us what you mean when you say that Sao Pim could have escaped, but he was unwilling to do so? President, Mr. Minsawan, could you please take note the question? And if the witness uh, cannot get the question clearly, and then you can explain the question to the witness. So uh, in this way, we, we can uh, smooth the process to help the witness understand the question. President, co-prosecutor, could you please repeat your last question? Mr. Witness, I'd just like you to explain a bit what you said last year. 
talking about Sao Pim going to Phnom Penh, you said, quote, he was unwilling to escape, but if he had wanted to evade, he would have been able to, but he was unwilling to escape. Can you explain that? During that time, if he had chosen to flee, he could have done that, but he was an honest person. He, he chose to stay and face uh, the truth. Thank you. Um, you talked about people from the East Zone being arrested and killed. Just from your own knowledge, can you tell us about some of the people that you know were arrested and killed? Yes, there were some of uh, my my members. They were all arrested and taken away and killed. They were loaded on a truck, and I did not know where they were taken to. I witnessed the incident with my own eyes, and this particular incident I witnessed it, so I, I told you what I really saw. Thank you. So this incident, can you explain where it happened, first of all? It happened at many places. It happened at the work site and at various departments and offices. It happened at many different places. Did you ever see these people who were arrested alive again? No, they had all gone and never returned. Mr. Witness, um, I'm just curious, have you ever visited the museum, uh, Tulslang, the S-21 site in Phnom Penh since the fall of the Khmer Rouge? Have you ever gone there and looked at the photographs? No, I, I have never been there, and I don't know where it even located. I only heard about its name, but I have never went there. What happened to your own family? Did your own family survive okay? My own family uh, were, were all uh, fine, but other members of other families, uh, they had uh, problems. Some of them died. Did you lose any relatives? Perhaps my question wasn't translated. 
you said your own family was fine. Did you lose any more distant relatives outside of your immediate family? No. No. There were none regarding my distant relatives. Sir, um, do you know what happened after Sao Pem went to Phnom Penh to his wife and children? Do you have any information about their fate? I, I only heard about uh, the information related to their uh, related to his uh, family members that uh, they were all killed. I did not witness the killing by my uh, my my eyes. I only heard about it. Thank you, Mr. President. I don't have further questions. President, the Chamber gives the floor to the lead co-lawyer for civil party. Good afternoon, Mr. President. I do not have many questions to put. I only have uh, a few questions to put to the witness. Mr. Witness, good, mo good afternoon. Can you hear me? Answer, yes. Question. I would like to ask you a few questions. Whether you have whether you had uh, accompanied Sao Pem to meetings in Phnom Penh between 1975 and 1979? Answer, yes, I went there once. I uh, simply dropped him off and I stayed at my office in the city and waited for him. Question regarding your escort of him to Phnom Penh. Uh, whether you accompany him to the city often? Answer, yes, uh, often. Question. Can you tell us how many times that you went with him between mid-1975 to mid-1978? Answer, no, I cannot recall how many times. Question, can you tell us how many times a year that he went to meetings in Phnom Penh? Answer, sometimes he went every, once every four months or five months. It depended. On some occasion that he went to Phnom Penh, I did not go with him, but other uh, members uh, accompanied him. Uh, he was uh, escorted in a vehicle. If I was uh, there, I would escort him, but if not, other people would escort him. Question. Did, did you know... Uh, whom uh, he met during meetings in the city, whether he met Pol Pot or Noon Chi or others? Answer, regarding the matter of meetings, I did not know. I did not know who uh, met him. I only knew that he, uh, he went to Phnom Penh, and that was it. I did not know where the meeting took place and whom he met. Question, what about after he finished the meetings in Phnom Penh and he had, he had to return to the East Zone? 
Did he organize meetings at the zone levels? Answer. I did not know much about this because I did not uh, grasp the situation well. Question. Did you ever see, for example, the accused Nun Chia went to the East Zone to meet Sao Pham? Answer, yes, I, I saw him. He went there. Question. Can you tell us how many times that Nun Chia went to meet Sao Pham and on, on what occasion and what year he went there? Answer. I did not uh, recall what years he went there, but I saw him uh, going to visit that zone quite often. But I do not know uh, when when the, those visits took place. I saw him coming to my zone. Question. Can you tell us why the Nun Chia went to visit Sao Pham soon after the liberation of Phnom Penh on 17 April 1975? Or, or uh, the visit of Nun Chia to the zone before Sao Pham's suicide? Answer, he went to visit the zone after Phnom Penh was liberated. Before that, I did not see him going there. Question. Can you clarify how many times uh, did you see and meet Nguyen Chia? Answer, I saw him on many occasions, four or five times. He went there four or five times. Question, during the five visits, four or five visits that you saw him, did he go alone or did anyone accompany him? Answer. He was with his uh, guards. Question. What did he do there? Were meetings held? Answer. I had no idea uh, why he was there. I was guarding the outside. I did not know what was going on inside. I did not know whether there was any discussion. Question. You were standing guard outside. Did you witness that uh, Nun Chi and Sao Pham met uh, each other, or did you saw them among the crowd? Answer. That was the time when the, they were at Jamgalu, they were among others. Question. Who participated in that meeting when you said there were many people there? Answer. I did not know who they were. I did not really know them. I knew very few of them, two or three only. Question. For those you knew, who were they? Were they the secretaries of the 
districts or were they uh, cadres? Answer, I cannot hear your question clearly. I do not know how to answer it. Question, a while ago you mentioned that there was a meeting when there were many people attended that meeting and among them there was also Nguyen Chia. You also said that uh, you knew a few of them. Now, can you tell the chamber who uh, they were and what were their positions at the East? Answer, they came from Phnom Penh to attend the meeting with Nguyen Chia. I did not know them. They were, they were not from the East. I did not know what the plan was and why they held the meeting. Question. Can you make a clarification for the court? When you saw Nguyen Chia and Sao Pham, Who was higher in rank? Answer, I did not know. I did not know how high they were and who was higher in rank. I could not give you the exact answer. I cannot really say whether or not Nguyen Chia was higher or the other, or the opposite. Question. This is my last question. I would like to know about the character of Sao Phum. Did he obey his superiors from what you see, from what you saw, rather? Answer, yes. He obeyed his superiors. That's why he came to attend the meeting. President Kopa, uh, you uh, may now proceed. Um, same obje objection as always, Mr. President. Who, who are Sopim's superiors? I would like to know, too. Uh, Mr. Witness, I would like to reformulate my question to make it clear, clearer. Since you recognized Salpam, did Salpam comply with the decisions of the central center and the party? Answer, I cannot give you my answer. But, uh, thank you. I am done with my questioning, Mr. President. I conclude my questioning now. President, and, and the floor is now given to the defense team for Mr. Kilsom Fawn to put questions to the witness. You may now proceed. Um, Mr. President, we don't have any questions for this witness. I mean the team for Kilsom Fawn. Good. President, uh, the chamber is grateful to you, Mr. Winners Nong Nim. The hearing of your testimony has now come to a conclusion.
your testimony will contribute to the sentiment of the truth. You may not be accused. I wish you good health, good luck, and prosperity. The chamber uh, wishes to express our thanks as well to Munzuwan, the duty council, and the chamber is also grateful to the WISU staff and the uh, concerned uh, units which assist which uh, assist the proceedings. And now the chamber will hear two TCW eight twenty three. But first it is now time or for a break, the chamber will take break from now until 2.30. The court is now in recess. <laughs>